Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by as always. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Welcome, your intuitively awakened star seed here. Got a message for you, you guys. Um, thank you guys so, so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I do appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you, and I'm sending you guys love and light. Lots of gratitude to you guys. Thank you. Um, guys, there is a... I don't know. It's like somebody is like... It's like I'm picking up on like somebody jealous, jealous energy, right? I feel like you have a very strong bond with someone. I feel like there's somebody jealous of a relationship here or something like that. You guys, we're going to go ahead and tap into this, right? Because, yeah, I'm just getting some really I don't, dark energy here regarding this, right? It's like somebody just can't handle something. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and get into this, okay? You guys, please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. All energy is fluid. It can be for your past, your present, or your future. He, she, him, her, people, places, and things. You guys, let's go ahead and tap in to this message and see what the heck is going on here, y'all. I'm thinking I'm, we'll use this deck here, all right? Spirit, please give us a clear message. Clear message for the collective regarding this message. What is it that Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine needs to know regarding this message? Yeah. Like, it's just like somebody can handle something. I don't know. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Please give us a clear message for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Wow, somebody doesn't want to communicate. I can see that, right? Yeah, what, okay, thank you. To be fair, oh, somebody is closed off. I just heard mm, somebody mad, right? To be fair, right? And I'm seeing serendipity. It's like, to be fair, I'm picking up on like, to be fair, you know that like divine feminine is the one that makes you happy. Where did that come from? Ciao. Oh, Divine Feminine is the one that gives this Divine Masculine peace. But it's like conflict. This is like somebody arguing. Yeah. What else we got? Oh, all right. Dang. Time to go. Somebody's wondering, is it time to go? Look, somebody's imagining you, thinking about your Divine Feminine. There's a lot of deep emotions here. A lot of deep emotions, but there's somebody that is really, it's like a lot of like, it's like a lot of energy, like tit for tat or something like that is what I'm getting, right? Like, you know, it's like I'm hearing this, you know, you, you're still in love with divine feminine, like, why am I wasting my time type of energy with you, like, Somebody's really jealous of the bond that you guys share. I feel like you guys, hmm, confirmation, truth be told. Look at this. Ooh, you guys really share a strong bond. And I'm picking up on karmic energy. It's like there's a karmic that cannot handle that you and Divine Masculine still have a strong bond or a strong connection during this separation. Yeah. And it's like this karmic thought that they could change this. They knew this, right? They knew this from the very beginning. Child was not a secret. What? Oh, out to sea. Hmm. There. Divine Masculine wants to let this person go. Building blocks wants to rebuild with you, Divine Feminine. Oh, a change is in the wind. Come through, spirit. That's what I know, right? This third party knows that this divine masculine is still in love with you, but I feel like they are not, it was like, this was, this is a karmic cycle, right? And this third party, it was like, I'm picking up on like this loyalty, right? Yeah, it's like they were disloyal. It's like this karmic 
didn't do what they were supposed to do or take care of this divine masculine the way that they should have. They mishandled this divine masculine and they're blaming it on the fact that this divine masculine is still in love with you. So it's like, why should I even try? Because you are still in love with divine feminine. That's the energy that I'm getting. Oh, they know that this divine masculine's heart is loyal to you. For some of you guys, you could be separated from this divine masculine, but you could still talk to them. Or this could be this divine masculine wanting to talk to you, right? The energy that I'm picking up on, right? This divine masculine is like, yeah, this karmic is not for me. Boom. What the? Come through spirit. All the glitters is not gold. They found out this person was not solid, right? Yeah, this karmic was not solid. This is like... <sighs> exchanging gifts it's like this karmic was only there for what they could get this divine masculine is deep in thought like what did i do why how did i let this happen how did i end up in this situation but they're definitely looking at your separation mm -hmm, as something temporary right yeah they're looking at this whole karmic cycle this this I'm going to say situationship. They're looking at this as something that is temporary, right? Because it's you, Divine Feminine, that makes them happy. Um, yeah, and the karmic knows it too. Mm -hmm. And they're jealous. They're jealous, right? So they didn't come through for Divine Masculine the way they should have, the way you would have a Divine Feminine, right? Truth be told, to be fair, they couldn't because... They're not a divine feminine, so they couldn't deliver. I feel like they put on a facade. It was all an illusion. They had a mask on like, yeah, I am a divine feminine. I can hold you down. I can be there for you, right? Type of energy because, you know, you got to be a certain type of feminine energy to handle a divine feminine, a divine masculine, right? And I feel like <laughs> this karmic, third party definitely fell short, right? But they're blaming it on the fact that they're like, why should I even try? Why should I have even tried? Because you're still in love with divine feminine. Like, yeah. So because they fumbled, this karmic feminine fumbled divine masculine, right? Mishandled them completely, right? This is something divine feminine would have never done. No, right? Mm-hmm, by the book. There's some messy energy going on here, right? Because I feel like this karmic feminine was definitely not by the book. Higher power. This is definitely an awakening. This is an awakening for this divine masculine. Mm-hmm. Give me a sip of my water, y'all. Mm-hmm. This is an awakening for this divine masculine. <laughs> They found out all the glitters was not gold. This karmic was messy and they were, it was like they were weak. They didn't possess, they didn't possess the qualities that divine feminine had. They realized that they had an imposter. They realized that they had an imposter. This person's been playing games with divine masculine child, please. What? Look, in between worlds, yeah. That's the way divine masculine is like right now is what I'm getting because they found out they're with a karmic codependent energy, right? Mm -mm. Round and round with divine feminine. They want to go. <laughs> no, they want to fix things with divine feminine. So you know what? I mean, this karmic is right. This karmic feminine is right because divine masculine still loves divine feminine, right? Mm-hmm. Seeing Divine Feminine as a blessing, <laughs> now they know for sure Divine Feminine is the match, right? The yin to their yang, right? Very next card, yang, come through, spirit, vibrational match, frequency match, right? You guys are a, have a very strong soul connection is what I'm getting here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like, it was like they... It was all an illusion. But when it's like I'm picking up on that previous energy, when they needed them, this karmic folded. This karmic feminine folded. Yeah. 
and they fumbled. They fumbled a divine masculine. Like, who does that, right? This divine masculine wants to go the distance with you, divine feminine. This karmic feminine, this they don't know what they're doing with a divine masculine. And again, to be fair, they wouldn't know, right? Because they're not a divine feminine. They're not a healer. They, they're they not an ascended master. They're not a chosen one, a light worker, a star seed. They're not someone who has traveled through many lifetimes, right? Yeah, they're not somebody that communicates with the ethers, right? They're not, they're not that. They tried to act like they were that. But now that they can't step up the way divine feminine would, they're jealous because this divine masculine either wants to reach out to divine feminine and turn to divine feminine for assistance, for guidance, for that bond that they still share with divine feminine. Even if you're not talking, there's still a bond here, right? But this karmic is jealous because they fumbled and now divine masculine's like, look, you're not the one. Right? Yeah. I feel like this divine masculine has told them, look, divine feminine would do it this way, that way. Divine feminine would never do that. They, I feel like they could have been like, had a, like a third party situation or something. And they let them know, like, I'm not used to something like this. Yeah. I feel like this karmic's trying to do things to keep divine masculine with them because they know divine masculine's pulling their energy back. Uh-huh. They're pulling out of this. They see that they were a fraud. All the illusions are being broken. There's no more smoke and mirrors. The mask is off. They were not built for this. They were not built for a divine masculine. They just weren't, right? Divine masculine is coming into a deep knowing, right? All the glitters is not gold, right? So they made themselves look like, yeah, I'm a divine feminine on the exterior. Meanwhile, they were low vibrational, codependent energy, right? Mm-hmm. Well, orphan, this divine masculine could have already disconnected or trying to disconnect because I'm definitely feeling like divine masculine is either abandoning or does want to abandon, abandon the situation. But I feel like this karmic is so jealous, right? They're so jealous and they feel like they have to keep divine masculine from coming back towards divine feminine. Because they know that's divine masculine, yeah. Because divine feminine is the vibrational match. You're the divine counterpart to divine masculine. You are divine masculine's counterpart, right? So see... It's a karmic. The karmic third party is not a divine counterpart or a counterpart. They're a lesson. They're a karmic. They're a lesson. They're part of a karmic cycle. Yeah. So they're not spiritually awakened. I feel like, and so they feel like they are you know, or they can appear or make themselves or act like they are a divine feminine. No. And divine masculine, they know that divine masculine wants a second chance. They want to regenerate things romantically with divine feminine. Because see, here's the thing, right? The bond that you guys share, it's like maybe, you know, the cycle, the last cycle that you guys were in, it was like, okay, things didn't work, but I still have love for you. And I'm not going to see somebody else mishandle you type of energy, right? I feel like you guys share that. Divine feminine, divine masculine, please take it how it resonates, right? Yeah. But I feel like just because things weren't working out doesn't mean that you are going to turn your back on each other, right? Yeah. Chow, look, this divine masculine wants a new beginning with you. They don't want to be separated from you. Mm -mm. But that's what I feel like this karmic feminine thought that just because they were, you know, in this divine masculine's life or whatever you want to define this relationship, situationship. Yeah, it's like they've realized um, you're still going to be around. That bond is still going to be there. 
you guys are like your 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 twin flame so it's like you guys can break apart and it can be for years and then come back together that's just how that thing works right you know and it's you know going through lifetimes trying to get this right but I feel like this divine masculine, it's, it's like this is a twin flame reunion. This divine masculine coming back towards you because they're, you guys are, you're part of the same soul, you guys, right? So this karma can never fill divine feminine shoes. And that bond will never, ever be able to be broken. Not in this lifetime, not next lifetime, not no lifetime. It's just not because you're the same soul right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> no place like home. That's what I'm saying. Travel through many lifetimes together, right? Look, karma. Mm-hmm. Oh, community. I'm picking up a lot of gossip, right? A lot of gossip going on in the community, right? This karmic feminine could be trying to, um, They could be trying to do some type of scapegoating or something, creating false narratives, trying to save face because they're embarrassed because this divine masculine is pulling out. But I feel like they're doing underhanded things to be very manipulative, right? To keep this divine masculine around them. Ciao. Never ending story. They know this is a never ending story. They might not know about twin flames, but they know that this divine masculine still loves you, right? And they know that they fumbled them, right? They mishandled divine masculine. So now there's a fork in the road. Divine masculine's like, yeah, no, mm -mm, babe, you're not for me. Uh-uh, you are not for me. I have a divine counterpart and it's not you. Look, flexibility. I feel like you guys are going to be working on things that cause you to separate. I'm picking up on that energy, right? You're going to be receiving a message from Divine Masculine. They know you're the land of milk and honey now. If they didn't know it before, I feel like they could have been a bit distorted, a bit fragmented in the past. That's how they ended up in this karmic cycle, right? With someone who is not there for them, doesn't know how to take care of them, doesn't know how to love on them the way that you do. I said what I said. Listen, they don't know. This karmic feminine did not know how to love on this divine masculine the way that divine feminine did, right? Yeah, take it how it resonates, y'all. Look, the land of milk and honey. Mm, I felt that. Yeah, that part. Oh, look, I'm finished symphony. This song has yet to be written. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this karmic knows they're about to get cut off. They're about to get cut off. You don't embarrass divine masculine. You don't put divine masculine in any type of third party situation. You don't know. No. Mm -mm. I feel like they're trying to clean it up and also trying to corner this divine masculine. Yeah, but divine masculine wants to mend things with you. They want to mend fences with you. <laughs> they could... I don't even feel like this divine masculine is hiding it. I feel like they've been looking at your social media profiles right in front of this karmic feminine, right? Because they're like, you are, you're not a divine feminine, right? <laughs> like, yeah, you're not a vibrational match. You're not, on, they're not on a divine masculine's level. They acted like they were a divine feminine. They put on a good show. I'll give you that. I'll give them that, right? Yeah, look observing, watching, right? Because they're trying to figure out, I feel like this karmic is watching you and observing and trying to figure out like, where did I go wrong here? Where did I go wrong? Like, cause I dress like divine feminine. I have my hair like divine feminine. I got the same job, drive the same car, whatever it may be, right? <laughs> it's their light, their inner light. This is a diabolical energy, right? And trying to be very manipulative, trying to corner this divine masculine to keep them from coming back towards you. There's a lot of chaos and conflict going on between the two. This divine masculine and this karmic 
third party because the thing of it is it's like they keep throwing you up in this divine masculine face like i know you still love divine feminine i know that's who you truly want right like that's going to change divine masculine's mind and the complete opposite is happening right because divine masculine's like um yeah you're right you're right but you keep doing x y and z so that i can't leave and move on with my life this is what i'm picking up on this is what's going on. But this is a destined connection. So this third party is only creating more karmic debt for themselves by standing in the way of this destined connection, right? This is a divine connection. You guys are you guys have a contract, right? They're trying to get they're trying to stand in the way of this soul contract. Uh-huh. Yeah. So first they were an imposter, karma. They're getting karma for that. Now they're trying to manipulate things to corner this divine masculine, delaying this divine connection, divine intervention, karma for that. Yeah. They're creating a lot of debt, a lot of karmic debt here. Look, and chaos and conflict. I'm telling you, they keep arguing with this divine masculine. Like, that's who you truly want. So why, why are you, why, that's why I didn't do what I was supposed to do. That's why I mishandled you because you're still in love with divine feminine. You know, you don't even care about me trying to like gaslight, scapegoat. No, it doesn't change it, right? You're just not that person. You're not a divine feminine. I swear I got y'all. Like, I'm just saying. What else we got, spirit? Huh. You're a breath of fresh air to this divine masculine, right? You're intelligent. You get it, right? You guys can finish each other's sentences. They don't have to, ex you know, explain a lot to you. It's like you can read their thoughts. Like, because you're one of the same souls, right? Look, but this divine masculine has come to this edge of this situation. And they're like, look, stop your shenanigans. Stop playing. Stop trying to corner me because I don't want to be here. Yeah. Why? <laughs> this divine masculine is asking themselves like, why? How did I end up in this situation? The clock is ticking. And this karmic feminine knows that the clock is ticking on this connection. Mm -hmm. The clock is running down. Yep. And they keep trying to make up with this divine masculine. And the clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. They keep trying to corner them, trying to make up, right? And then trying to get a leg up on you all while the clock is ticking, right? It's running down. Yeah. This divine masculine is present with you, right? They want you in their present and in their future. Different type of energy, poised energy. That's divine feminine, right? Very classy, very reserved. Would never have them in any type of love triangle, third party type of situation. Oh, wow. Yeah. They want to work on this. Co-create. Mm -hmm. They want to change. They want to rewrite this history that you guys have, right? Mm -hmm. This my masculine wants to change what happened if they could. They have a lot of regrets on what they've put you through, Divine Feminine. Seeing that now they can truly see what they had in you, right? Yeah. And it's like it hurts them even more because it's like... Your loyalty is stronger than this person that they were in union or situationship with. Your loyalty is stronger than theirs while you and Divine Masculine were apart. So imagine how strong your loyalty is when you're together, right? It's unmatched. This is unmatched type of energy. Spare, please give us more. Yeah, you held them down even more than this karmic feminine when you were separated. Yeah, divine masculines, they used to that divine feminine energy, child. Someone, oh my goodness, 
it's like they really fumbled this connection, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And it's like, you guys have a soul contract. This was a karmic cycle. This divine masculine had to go off and learn this lesson. Child, they still stuck in it. I'm picking up on previous energy, right? It's like they're stuck. Mm. Spirit, please give us more. Yeah, look, here comes a love offer. Slowly but surely moving towards their divine feminine, right? And I feel like it's slowly because they're dealing with so much. There is, it's like scam. Like, I want to say, it's like, this is like somebody, they're so manipulative, false narrative, right? They're just dealing with so much stuff. I just heard clearing their name, trying to clear their name from the lies. Yeah, somebody about to get embarrassed, right? Look, huh? Because they want the happily ever after with you, divine feminine. Mm hmm. They know there's a lot of work to do to get to it, and this divine masculine knows divine feminine got options. They got options. Look at this, but you are a priority, right? They would never ever juggle you again because I feel like they did have you in some competition. But that was insecurity is what I'm getting. And that's what caused this tower moment, right? But there's growth here. They've fallen from grace with you, but you are their wish fulfillment. Whew. Yes, you are. You are their wish fulfillment, right? Mm-hmm. And this... They can't stay with this karmic partner much longer, right? Something you got to give. And this manipulation trying to corner them to get them to stay. That is bad business, y'all. That is bad business. When people be trying to corner folks. Mm -mm. Look. Hidden emotions. A lot of confusion, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody's losing it, too. I feel like that's just karmic. Pisces energy on the board. You can be a Pisces. Your person could be a Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart. Yeah, look. Unbridled joy and happiness ahead for this connection. They're still holding on tight to you, right? Soul contract. Past life agreement. I'm just saying. There it is. Very nostalgic for you is what I'm getting, right? Yeah. I feel like this divine masculine is definitely going to try and move slowly towards you. Um, but I feel like things are going to pick up momentum quick charming love offer this is the big love offer right look you have everything they want and need they're manifesting you they know that you're cold to them but you're still there for them right that's solid right even though they know you guys share that type of bond like you guys can always turn back it's like y'all can always spin the block ciao look four of wands right Coming into harmony. Mm-hmm. Coming into harmony. I feel like you realized that there was a lot of growth needed with this divine masculine. And you gave up control. You let control. You let you left the control up to the universe, right? And here, when you do that, now things are falling into place, right? And this divine masculine is coming back towards you, right? This karmic feminine is trying to control everybody, manipulative, everything, right? Trying to control divine masculine, trying to control divine feminine, trying to keep divine feminine from being happy, right? Like, mm-mm. Look, I feel like some. This divine masculine's hoping that no one else is in your energy. That's what I'm getting, right? Mm-hmm. They hope that you've been in hermit mode. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's nobody else for you and there's nobody else for them. You guys are a vibrational match. You guys are divine counterparts, right? Yeah. What else we got, Spirit? Oh, these two cards. Oh, oh. <laughs> this karmic is trying to bind divine masculine to them. Yeah, they're a little bit too late for that because divine masculine is not even... I'm intimately involved with them, but I'm definitely picking up on psychic abilities, right? So spiritual gifts, someone has spiritual gifts. I feel like that's 
divine feminine and divine masculine, right? But they were, they're trying to bind this divine masculine to them. There's some spell work going on here with those two cards. But look, I'm seeing a new beginning. Mm -hmm. A new beginning happening, right? Wow. Here we are. Aquarius energy on the board. So this is the star part, right? This is all about um, following your own life, following your own tuition, because following your own tuition is going to be very important right now because this karmic is definitely creating false narratives. I'm getting um, planting seeds of doubt, creating a bunch of illusions, creating smoke, no fire type of energy, right? Yeah, follow your own intuition with regards to this connection, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, this Divine Masculine can't wait to get back to you, Divine Feminine. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're already receiving karma. I feel like this, this, this third party is like receiving karma from past lives, right? They're not learning the lesson. This is past life karma that they're bringing through with them, right? Mm. Justice. Karmic justice, right? Libra energy on the board. Mm-hmm. Look, judgment. So I'm definitely seeing that it's like, I feel like Divine Masculine is learning from this separation, right? Learning from this journey that they've been on, okay? But I'm also picking up on Phoenix rising, rising from the ashes, right? You guys getting it right in this lifetime? Mm-hmm. That's also what I'm picking up on. Look, a lot of spying, Aquarius energy on the board. You, you got a lot of people watching you, Divine Feminine. You got the karmic watching you. You got Divine Masculine watching you. You got the community watching you. Because people want to see what's going to happen with this, right? Because I feel like everybody's seeing this, this karmic feminine mishandled Divine Masculine. They're like, wait, what? I feel like the whole community was like, why did he, what, when did they come together type of energy like that? Take it how it resonates, you guys, right? Yeah. And they're regretting this tower moment. My masculine is, there's a lot of intense hidden emotions here that they're definitely going to reveal to you. So again, you guys could be in no contact or you could just be in that, um, that neutral zone, whereas like, you know, you guys still talk to one another, but I feel like this divine masculine talks to this karmic um, about you, right? Like as a friend, it's like, yeah, we're friends, but they talk about you a lot, right? Yeah, they talk about you a lot. This karmic feminine definitely knows that this divine masculine is still in love with you. It's not a secret. Spirit, please give us more. Thank you. Oh, your divine masculine, the emperor energy showing up here. Aries energy on the board. Yeah, somebody could be an Aries. You could be an Aries. Your person could be an Aries. Yeah, please take it how it resonates. What else we got here? Could be a Pisces Aries cusp, an Aries Pisces cusp. Mm-hmm. What else we got, spirit? Oh, okay. Well, that pretty much sums it up right there. A new beginning. Mm-hmm. Abandoning this. This person that was never, they were never even on this level. They were never built to handle an emperor, a divine masculine, right? Yeah, this emperor is like, what are you doing? Who did you think I was? Ciao, bye. Mm-hmm. They were never, ever. I feel like this divine masculine is like, how did I even end up on this part of this journey? But they're trying to get it right with their divine feminine once and for all because, yeah, if this karmic feminine's not right about anything else, they're right about this divine masculine still being in love with divine feminine. That's you, divine feminine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They don't even know how to take care of business. They do not know how to hold down this divine masculine. Why well, I just hear this divine masculine could have their own business. That's for some of you guys, not all of you guys, right? Yeah, but they thought, I feel like this karmic thought that like, 
oh, this one's going to be smooth sailing. All they had to do was do a little seduction, you know what I'm saying, and get the bi masculine where they wanted them at. No, mm -mm. no, you have to be the full package. You have to truly be a divine feminine to be with this divine masculine. Yeah. Mm. Wow. But I am seeing a new beginning with the Ace of Cups, you guys overflowing with love you have everything that this divine masculine wants and needs divine feminine y'all i'm leaving this reading here thank you guys so so much for stopping by as always and i will see you guys for your next reading until next time guys take care love ya bye